If you're anything like me, you love photography, but keywording, not so much. In this quick video, I'm gonna introduce you to a brand new tool that aims to take away the pain of manual keywording and replace it with the power of artificial intelligence and computational photography on your local machine versus in the cloud. There's a brand new application in town for photographers called Exire Photo. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. This is a really cool and I'd argue an important application for photographers because it takes away the drudgery of keywording and replaces it with the efficiency of artificial intelligence and computational photography and machine learning to look deeply into your photos and keyword them. And not only just regular keywords, it does keyword hierarchies that I'm gonna to demonstrate to you in just a second here, does all this automatically on the back end. And the cool thing is it integrates with your current workflow. So no need to worry about leaving Lightroom or Capture One. The software works with your existing workflow and neatly fits into your, your pipeline. So let's take a look at the software and see what it does. So here we are inside of Exire Photo. This is a brand new installation of the software. I figured let's start from the beginning and show you the ingestion process from start to finish. So here we are. So what I'm gonna do first is simply add a folder. So I'm gonna browse my hard drive and find my demo library. We're already in the demo library. So let's, let's go ahead and click on demo library and open that. I'm gonna leave all the defaults as they are but you can see what they do here. I can include subfolders, which I'm, I have subfolders in this library. So I'm gonna allow it to index those and create previews and analyze the photos. So we want all that to happen. And all I have to do is click start. So there we go. If you look in the upper left hand corner here, you can see that it's marching through the process of importing the photos. Instantly we see our previews in the preview area here and it's gonna import all of those photos and analyze them. And there we go. Our photos have been imported into my library. They've been analyzed and just like that keyworded, done. I didn't have to do a thing except import the photos. So this library is not a huge library. It's 189 photos in there, but watch the magic that I can do with this library. So before I get into the whole keyword demo part, I just wanna show you how the application is laid out from left to right here. Over on the left, you can see we have our folders and our search results, which you'll see a little bit later. Then as we drop down, you can see here's the demo library that I just imported. If I hover over that line, it gives you a little bit of data about that library i.e. where is the path where the library lives, how many registered photos, how many photos it has analyzed, and the status. All the photos have been successfully analyzed. If there happen to be errors in there, so for example, photos that can't be analyzed, maybe it's a, a rogue file type or a corrupted file or something like that, the software would then tell you that under status. So. Over on the left here, I can hit this disclosure triangle and it will show you all of the folders that I had in place in there. So this is my existing hierarchy. This could be my the directory of photos that I have sitting on my hard drive that Lightroom or any other application is looking at. Exire Photo is simply looking at that library. It's not making any substantive changes to that library. So that's it. That's how the import process works inside of Exire Photo. Now that Exire Photo has successfully analyzed our photo directory, let's take a look at the keywords that it has put in place for us. So if we look in the upper right hand corner of the user interface here, we'll see this find by keyword key icon. If I click that, you'll see, and the cool thing about this, you'll see two columns here. The first one is photography. So we can search our photo library based on attributes of the photo, like bokeh, the brightness values, the colors, if it's colorful or not, colorless, the, if it's a dark photo, etc. all the way down the line. And the right column here is content. So this is where the automatic keywording has kicked in. So if I go ahead and click, for example, architecture, you can see that explodes out to building and I can explode that out to house and skyscraper. If I move down to food, for example, I see that there are multiple hierarchies in here that I can choose from. So dish, for example, uh, fruit, etc. on down the line. So how do you use these to find images? This is just one way to find images within Exire Photo. So let's, let's find some images. So let's start with person. So if I want to find just people in my library, I can click this plus here 
And over on the right, you can see person has shown up here. This is the, these are a search criteria on the right side. These are selected keywords. And you can see at the top here, it says 109 photos match the search criteria. So there's 109 photos in my library that contain people. Okay, so let's get a little bit more granular with it. What if I drill down into gender and I say, I only want to see the photos that contain people that happen to be female. I can do that, right? So now I'm drilling down person, gender, female, and I see that there are 56 people in my library that fit that, that criterion. So really, really cool, really, really powerful. Down at the bottom of this UI here, you can see this little slider. I'm telling it, give me no more than 100 results from the settings that I put in place up here. And I can also tell it to search the whole database or just the current view. For example, if I've already done a search and I'm happy with the results, but I wanna dive deeper into that particular search, I can tell Exire Photo to just search in that current view. And then you just click uh, Start Search. So there we go. So these are all the photos in my library that contain women. Okay, let's drill down a little bit further into our library and explore the keywording feature a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go and just get rid of this search. Let's go back to our main demo library here. These are all of our photos. Let's go ahead and click on keywords again. And now I'm going to click on some photo attributes from this column. Instead of looking specifically within the photo, I wanna look at attributes of the photo. So I can say, you know, Exire Photos, show me all dark photos. And you can see I still have a search result here from female. Remember to, to clear any previous search results because Exire Photos is gonna remember your previous searches for you. So now I know I have 38 photos that appear dark. Now let's click again on, let's say, architecture and building. Let's add building to our search. Now the library is telling me that there is one photo that is a dark building in my library. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. And here we go. There's our dark photo in the library. Love that. So you can see the power of the application as you dive in. So let's go back again to our demo library one more time and go back into keywords. Let's erase these two keywords and let's go and look for colorful. So let's start with colorful. Here we go. So colorful is going to bring me back all of the photos that the software thinks are very colorful and I can target that even deeper. So if I start the search here, look at these. These are all very colorful images did a great job finding colorful images. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's go back in there. Colorful is still selected. Now, I wanna show just the photos that have the color, let's say red, that's dominant. You can see I put the keyword down here of red, and instead of searching the whole database, I wanna narrow down my selection into the current view. So let's click go, and here we are. These are photos that have red as a dominant color in the shot warm colors. Very cool. So you can see how this can get really, really powerful when you're searching over libraries that are gigantic with thousands or even hundreds of thousands of images. It can help you very quickly narrow down the search to the exact photo that you're looking for, whether it be based on attributes of the photo or contents of the photo, whether it be people in the photo, etc. And that's what we're going to look at next, people and how does Exire Photo find people and how do you do that? Now let's take a look at how Exire Photo can help you find people within your photo library. To do that, look in the upper right hand corner here. If you hover your mouse over this little face icon, you can see it says find faces. Click on that and it brings up this very powerful dialog box here. And let me explain what's going on in here real quick. It may look a little bit complex, but it really isn't. From left to right, top to bottom, you can see, you can tell Exire Photo to look for one face, a single portrait, two faces, several faces, or any number of faces. You can tell it to look for babies and toddlers, children, teenagers, or young adults, adults or elderly. You can also tell it to look for people that are a specific gender. You can also tell it to look for smiling and not smiling people. You can control the maximum number of results. For example, if you have a very large library, you may not want to have a gazillion results returned to you. Just want the most relevant results. So you can throttle that using this slider here, and you can also tell it to search the whole database 
or just the current view. So let's dive in and see this work in practice. So I'm just going to do a couple of searches just so you can get the feel of how the application is performing. So first I'm going to say, let's look for all shots that just have a single portrait in them. Right, let's start the search. There we go. Portrait shots. There we go. It brought back the entire 34 from this library of 170, 180, I believe. So let's clear this and go back and try again. So let's go back to our demo library and go back and click on find faces. This time I would like to find single portraits of children. Let's take a look. There we go. Just kids, just kids. Very cool. So all of these kids, most of these kids are smiling except a couple of them, right? So let's take a look at how Exire Photo can help us narrow that down. So if I say, you know, I want a single portrait of a child and I don't want that child to be smiling. Let's take the smile over to the left here and I want you to search in the current view. Start the search. There we go. Pictures of kids that are not smiling. You see how easy that is to find images? And if we go back to this dialog box, we can reset this. We can data mine our library to our heart's content. The cool thing is if you look back over here, the eagle-eyed people in the audience will have seen this. You look over to the left where it says find faces, we've got a timestamp and a search result number on the right here. So the software is telling me that on this date I did this search. So I can go back to these searches at any time. So these are, these are kind of like smart searches that live on uh, until you get rid of them. But we'll leave them there for now. We'll go back to folders and our demo library. That's the power of finding people. You can find one person, you can find two people, multiple people smiling, eyes open, eyes closed, and you can also find a particular face. So if you're looking for one person throughout your library, you can search for just that person's face. That's what I'm gonna show you next. Okay, now let's dive into one of the more powerful features of Exire Photo, and that's its ability to find individual people and groups of people within your photo library. I'm gonna demonstrate the basics of this, and then we'll go into a little bit more of the power and advanced uses of it. So let's click on a photo here. This happens to be my daughter and we'll move over to the right here and we'll find find people, this two person silhouetted icon there. So if I click on that, it brings up this dialog box and it shows you that it has found her face. If we roll over the photo, you can see the little hover face annotations there that it, it, it knows that this photo is a face, it knows it is a frontal face, it knows it's a female, it knows the eyes are open, smiling, and it's a child. It has figured all of that out and we can search on that. But you can refine that even further. If you look over into filter options, I could look for photos that are only smiling or photos that are smiling and not smiling. I can look for photos that are smiling with the eyes open or smiling with the eyes closed or any combination of these attributes up here. Or you can also add keyword attributes to it as well. So let's just go ahead and search. Also down at the bottom here, I can control the number of search results. So again, if you have a gigantic library, you may not want a thousand results. You may only want a hundred results to choose from or the 100 most relevant results to choose from. And you can tell it to search in the whole database or just the current view. The current view basically searches a, a previously done search. So if you've already done a search and you have relevant search results and you want to narrow that down even further, you can use current view to search within a search. So we're going to search whole database. I'll go ahead and click search and you can see it has found all of these photos of my daughter, just like that. So I could go in again and, and let's say click this photo once again and click the face and I could say only look for smiling. She's always smiling. So they're already, <laughs> they're all going to come back smiling. Um, or eyes open, eyes closed. So you can see the power of that as you dive in to Exire Photo, especially when you point the application at a gigantic library that you've been accumulating over several years. 
going back is just fun because you can look for just one person all the way back to the beginning of when you started photographing that person. Or in the case of, say, a wedding photographer, you could look for all instances that have both the bride and groom in the photo and they're both smiling within the photo. You can very easily, very quickly do that. So when we start that search again, you can see off to the left here, we've got fine people and with timestamps of when we executed each one of these searches, right? These were identical searches, so they have identical search results. And that's the power of fine people within Exire Photo. No other application that I know that is local, not cloud-based. Some cloud-based applications will allow you to do this, but again, you're in the cloud. All of this processing is happening local, on your local computer, on your hard drive. That's really powerful. And just to round things off in this quick demo, I just want to show you this right column over here. So you can see this is the keyword hierarchy that it's built. Remember I showed you within this little keyword, find by keyword dialog box here, all these different photography attributes and content attributes. Let's close out of that. They're also located over here under keyword hierarchy. You can see if I open this Exire disclosure triangle, I have content and photography, just like we had in that keyword dialog box. If I open up content, you can see all of the content attributes that I have here with the number of photos that are associated with each one of those. These are also drill down, so I can go into architecture and open that up and I can see that there are four buildings, 14 doors, two staircases, two windows, etc., etc., all the way down. If we go into person, I can see that I've got one close up, I've got 98 faces, I've got 13 groups, etc., etc. So if we go in just to demonstrate, if I go into building and door, click on that and we can see all of our photos that have doors in them. There are two photos here that don't look like they have doors. They kind of may have doors in them. These are more windows. But again, we have all the, the doors from our library represented in here. So very cool. So if I close up content and go into photography, I can see that I have eight images that have shallow depth of field or bokeh. I have 29 bright images, 23 colorful, et cetera, on down the line. Let's take a look at some of these. So here's bokeh, shallow depth of field. Yes, that looks correct. These are bright images, high key images right there. Colorful images, colorless images, i.e. black and white, dark images, high contrast images, Leading lines, low contrast, selective color, sepia tones, silhouettes, symmetry, and unsaturated. All that. So, and remember, I did nothing manually. All this was auto-generated from the photos that were in a hierarchy that lives in the photos directory on my computer. You can do this too. All you do is install the application and over here on the left side, you click add and add the folder and let the software do its thing and you can find whatever images you want at any time, either by keyword or by attribute of the actual photo. And before we close here, I just wanted to take a second to help you understand where Exire Photo fits into your existing workflow. This is not an application that's designed to replace Capture One or Lightroom Classic. It is designed to complement them, and it does that by writing its data to the XMP sidecar files that live alongside your actual files in the directory. So these XMP sidecar files contain the metadata about your image and any application that is friendly or that can read those files will work with Exire Photo. Think of it like this. The way that I see a workflow is you have an existing library. If you're a photographer, you likely already have thousands of images that you need keyworded. So you launch the application, you point the application at the folder, it does its work, now you have a keyworded library. And because Lightroom is also looking at that same hierarchy and those same XMP sidecar files, it's going to pick up the keywords that Exire Photo generated. You see the magic of that? So now your entire library has been beautifully and perfectly keyworded, making all your photographer friends that were anal and meticulous about keywording all of their images, 
your library is now keyworded much better than theirs could ever be, unless they get Excite Photo, right? So that's where it sits in the flow. So it works with those other applications, not instead of those applications. And because Xire Photo is writing data directly into that XMP sidecar files, that means keywords, color, ratings, labels, etc., also get written to that file. So any other application that can read that XMP data, it's going to see those. Data communication is two-way. So if you make changes in keywords inside or create keywords and other data inside of Lightroom, that data is then getting written to the XMP sidecar file. If you go back into Excire Photo, it's going to see that data and be able to refine the search even further beyond what the artificial intelligence keywording algorithms did. So in conclusion, Excire Photo basically breathes new life into your existing workflow and your existing photo library. The software removes the drudgery of manual keywording. It gives you supercharged relevant keywords and it works with your existing software and your existing workflow. So that's it for this quick demo of Xire Photo. Give the software a try, try it out on your library. You can't go wrong. I think it's an amazing piece of software that will add value to any existing library and most existing workflows.